There are new developments this evening in the beating death of a teenager outside the I Promise School in Akron last week. Police are releasing new details about what led up to the murder of 17-year-old Ethan Liming. News 5's Bob Jones is in Akron tonight with the latest. 17-year-old Ethan Liming lost his life in a senseless act of violence. Ethan did not deserve to die. Akron Police Chief Steve Milette releasing new details surrounding the horrific beating death of Ethan Liming, who was an honor roll student and athlete at Firestone High School. Investigators say they're following promising leads on the suspects. And my hope is that we're going to identify suspects soon. The chief also revealing the moments leading up to the tragedy. He says Ethan was with three other juveniles and at least one of them fired this splatter ball water bead blaster in the direction of other teens or young men playing basketball in the I Promise parking lot Thursday night. The chief displayed a similar toy gun describing how it works. You soak it in water and then you load this what they describe as a toy gun and it shoots these water beads at people. Milet says that led to people from both groups running towards a car and the deadly parking lot fight. Ethan Liming is assaulted and a fight ensues. Um, at the conclusion of it, Ethan Liming is dead. We spoke again today with the father of Ethan Liming, who continues to urge the public to come forward with any information leading to his son's killer or killers. He also reacted to the news police released today about the toy gun. Don't lose your life over a toy gun. And if somebody thought it was a real gun, they wouldn't be alive today. If it was a real gun, they would have been shot. It wasn't a real gun. It was a toy. It was teenagers being teenagers. My son should not be murdered, brutally murdered, and beaten to death because of a toy. Police are not releasing any description of the suspects, but stressed race does not appear to be a factor at this time. There is nothing that we have in our possession right now, any information at all, indicating that race played a role in this homicide. Nothing. Detectives continue to evaluate evidence and review surveillance video from the I Promise School and nearby businesses as they work to track down Ethan's killer or killers. His dad says that can't happen soon enough. We'd do anything we could possibly do to uh, turn the clock back and uh, have him in my arms again and to see his face again, but they robbed me of that, of even that ability. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.